Every NFL division has an X factor, a player, a coach, a unit that can completely change the outlook of the 2019 NFL season for that specific division. For the AFC East, I believe that X factor is quarterback of the New York Jets, Sam Darnold. But before I give you my thoughts, why Sam Darnold is the X Factor for 2019 in the AFC East. Gronk spike the like button, subscribe to the bottom line view for more NFL videos just like this, and comment below your opinion. Do you agree with my thoughts on Sam Darnold? Do you agree that Darnold can make or break the New York Jets in 2019 and completely change how we look at the AFC East this season? Last season, the New York Jets went into the draft looking for their future franchise quarterback and they settled on Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold has been looked at even before being selected by the New York Jets as one of these promising franchise quarterbacks, potentially elite NFL quarterbacks over the course of his career and really one of the chosen players coming out of USC to be this fantastic quarterback that brings promise and brings success to whatever team he leads going forward into the future. And in 2019, I believe the future is now for Sam Darnold to make a play and to bring the New York Jets to the promised land, to the playoffs, where they haven't been since 2011. They haven't been to the playoffs since 2011, since the Rex Ryan AFC Championship days, and they have struggled mightily. They have been in the basement of the AFC East, and they are hoping that Sam Darnold and partly Adam Gase can take them back to where they were in the early 2010s. Sam Darnold, in his rookie season, in my personal opinion, had a pretty rough one. And just looking at his numbers, 57.7 completion percentage, 2,865 yards, 17 touchdowns with 15 interceptions, and a 77.6 passer rating. Not fantastic numbers. He also had more interceptions than games played. So Sam Darnold's going to need to make major strides, but the pieces are in place for Sam Darnold to do so, and I do believe that you Jets fans are very positive when it comes to Sam Darnold. There are a lot of huge Sam Darnold fans in the media in particular. Now, I haven't been one that has really been a huge supporter of Sam Darnold. Don't get me wrong, I think Sam Darnold seems like a really cool dude. I wish him all the best. I think he's an awesome guy just from the interviews and everything I've seen about him. Seems like a guy that I would want to hang out with. But from a football perspective in his rookie season, he did show some rough edges. He didn't seem like a guy that was worth all this hype. And I still question the hype going into 2019. That being said, he also does have some tools that I do believe could make him a very good quarterback in the NFL. Makes him jump off the screen in terms of a quarterback to escape pressure, to make plays under pressure, to step up in the pocket and make a nice throw. He does seem to be a guy that's really willing to put in the work to become a great quarterback. He seems to have the right demeanor. He seems to be a good leader. He seems to have learned quite a bit and experienced quite a bit throughout the course of his rookie season and I think even having a guy like McCown with him in his rookie season was very helpful to his development. He also did show some promise in a couple football games last year particularly against the Green Bay Packers and the Houston Texans where he came back from injury and really lit the NFL on fire in those two games but then in other moments specifically at the end of the year against the New England Patriots he did not look like a quarterback that was going to bring the Jets to the playoffs in the future. So Sam Darnold, he went through the bumps in the road over the course of his rookie season. But in 2019, there are pieces in place, like I brought up, that I think could make him a better quarterback. And this is why I'm so intrigued, because Sam Darnold, like in his rookie season, had really high moments. He also had very low moments. In 2019, we could see the very same, or maybe he elevates the Jets to becoming this team. This is why Sam Darnold is the X factor, because more so than Josh Allen in Buffalo, I believe he's actually going to be counted on more for his team to have success in 2019. 
Josh Allen has a quality defense. He has a top five defense. To me, he also has the better head coach. Now, Sam Donald has the better supporting cast offensively, but I believe that the Jets are going to have to score more points this season. They're going to have to be an offense first team this season, them to really make the playoffs and make a run at this thing in the AFC East. Of course, they surround him with Le'Veon Bell, who in Pittsburgh was one of the best backs, if not the best back in football, from a perspective of being an all-around back, catching the football out of the backfield, being able to take a screen a good distance, or lining up in the slot, or lining up wide as a running back, as a wide receiver. He had that capability as well, the way that he would be so patient at the line of scrimmage as a runner, very explosive, difficult to take down, and just a matchup nightmare from many different areas on the football field. He is now a part of this offense in New York. Robbie Anderson, I think, is a quality deep threat receiver. Now, he hasn't shown an all-around game as a route runner, but as a deep threat, he is one of the better ones, one of the young ones in the NFL that I think Sam Donald could grow with. Jamison Crowder, they added him from the Washington Redskins, and Crowder I've always been a very big fan of just in terms of his route running, his explosion out of the slot, his ability to be a matchup nightmare. I think he's a downfield threat that you rarely see from the slot position. And then Quincy Anunua, who had a pretty good season last year when he was healthy. He had some injury issues and has over the course of his career, but when he's been healthy, he's shown that he's had promise out of the slot or on the outside as one of these bigger targets that's willing to go over the middle of the football field. And Sam Donald had a pretty good rapport with him throughout the early season in 2018. So there's some good receivers. There's a good, really good running back. They added Coleccio Semele along the offensive line. He's one of the better guards still in football. Now, their offensive line to me is still one of the top 10 worst de- offensive lines in the NFL. Adam Gase is the biggest question mark in this whole process of they added him as the head coach. How does he maximize what Sam Donald brings to the table as a quarterback, as an athlete within this offense? And how does he make life easier on Sam Darnold than really last season where Sam Darnold didn't have a lot of help in terms of a scheme offensively. How does he maximize that young quarterback and how does he get the best out of the weapons around Sam Darnold? So Sam Darnold now with an offensive minded head coach is I believe going to be put in better situations but when you look at Adam Gase is he really the coach to bring Sam Darnold to the playoffs and to help him get the Jets there. You know, he's 23 and 26 as a head coach in his NFL career. He has one playoff appearance. He did have a lot of success with Denver early in his career as an offensive coordinator being Peyton Manning's guy. And he's kind of gotten off on that fact. He's kind of rode that whole name being the Peyton Manning guy. Peyton Manning in that 2013 season, 2014 season has allowed Adam Gase to stick around as a top tier coach or a top tier candidate for a lot of these teams when they're looking at him as a head coaching possibility. And Adam Gase, I think he's had a little bit of success in Chicago. He's had some success with the quality players that he's had around him. Like Ryan Tannehill is a quarterback that nobody looked at ever as a top 10 guy Nobody ever really looked at him as a franchise guy, but he was able to get a team with Ryan Tannehill at quarterback to the playoffs. He was able to have some success, at least decent teams. The thing about Adam Gase is he's never really going to coach a terrible team. I've never seen Adam Gase coach a terrible team. He's always been around the 8-8, and 7-9, and 6-10 and 10 mark. And if he hasn't, he's been maybe a little bit above that, 9-7, and 10-6. and 6. But Adam Gase has never really had a terrible team. He's going to allow Sam Darnold some easy throws underneath. He's going to get those slot receivers involved. He had a lot of success with Jarvis Landry in Miami. So hopefully Jamison Crowder can have some success in New York. He's also spoke on the fact that Robbie Anderson is going to have a more developed route tree, not just a downfield threat, but a guy that can do a little bit more. I'm kind of intrigued to see how he uses the tight end position and Chris Herndon as well. But to me, it's all coming down to Sam Donald. What can he get out of this team? 
how can he elevate the New York Jets? Because the Jets, to me, they have a pretty decent defense, but it's not one of these defenses that's going to carry Sam Darnold. I don't think the corners are strong enough. I don't think the pass rush is strong enough. I love the D-line. I love the linebackers. I love the safeties. But I don't know if that defense is enough to carry a young quarterback to the promised land. So Sam Darnold, you got to step up to the plate. You're the X factor for AFC East. My question is, are you the man to bring the Jets back to the playoffs this season? Or are the Jets going to be just about the same as what they've been? Is this Sam Darnold's year to break out? Or are we waiting until next year or the year after? Or is Sam Darnold not the answer for New York? So the X factor for the AFC East could completely change the entire outlook of this division. It's got to be Sam Darnold, man.